Imagine waking up richer than you ever dreamed, not through years of toil, but by unbelievable luck. From forgotten artifacts to mistaken identities, let's discuss the stories of people whose lives changed in the blink of an eye. At Cincinnati's Horseshoe Casino, a surprising turn of events unfolded during a summer promotion in August 2013, leading to a story almost too good to be true. The casino had planned a grand giveaway, promising a whopping $1 million prize to a lucky patron named Kevin Lewis. The excitement was palpable as Kevin Lewis, a resident, was called up to claim his life-changing prize. Overjoyed, he stepped forward to accept the fortune, believing luck was truly on his side. However, as the casino staff began the routine checks to confirm his identity, a startling discovery was made. In an almost unbelievable twist, it turned out another Kevin Lewis was frequenting the same casino. The winning draw had mistakenly identified the wrong Kevin Lewis as the millionaire to be. This mix-up could have been the start of a contentious dispute or left one of the men empty-handed, turning what should have been a joyous occasion into a complicated dilemma. In a move that showcased integrity and goodwill, the casino's management faced the predicament with an unexpected decision. Rather than retracting the prize from the initially celebrated Kevin Lewis or embroiling themselves in a potentially messy situation, they chose to honor the reward for both men. The casino decided that the fairest solution was to make both Kevin Lewis's millionaires, allowing them each to walk away with one million dollars. This resolution brought an extraordinary twist to the casino's summer promotion, turning what could have been a public relations nightmare into a heartwarming story of fairness and luck doubling down. That night, Cincinnati's Horseshoe Casino didn't just make one, but two individuals incredibly fortunate, embodying the unpredictability and thrill of casino culture in a way no one could have predicted. This unique turn of events left both participants and onlookers alike in awe of how fate, chance, and a touch of human decency converged to create a once-in-a-lifetime outcome for two lucky individuals sharing the same name. Up next, let's see how Glenda Blackwell's attempt to prove a point turned into a million-dollar lesson. In a small town in North Carolina, Glenda Blackwell had grown tired of her husband's persistent lottery ticket purchases. Firmly believing that these tickets were nothing but a waste of their hard-earned money, she decided on a whim to teach her husband a lesson he wouldn't forget. One evening, during a routine stop at their local gas station, an argument between the couple over another one of these lottery tickets reached a boiling point. In a moment of frustration mixed with a dash of irony, Glenda purchased a scratch-off ticket, confident it would lose and thereby prove her point. To her astonishment, the ticket Glenda bought in an attempt to demonstrate the lottery's futility it turned out to be a winner. But this wasn't just an ordinary win. The scratch-off ticket revealed a prize of one million dollars. The irony of the situation was not lost on her. Glenda, who never believed in the value of lottery tickets, found herself holding a ticket that would change her life and her perspective on luck and chance. The win was a twist of fate that Glenda could have never anticipated. Suddenly, the Blackwells were thrust into a new reality, one where financial worries seemed like a thing of the past. Glenda's unexpected victory brought not just wealth, but a profound lesson in the unpredictability of luck. It was a reminder that, sometimes, fortune has a way of finding us in the most unexpected ways and at the most unexpected times. Glenda Blackwell's experience turned into a tale that transcended her small North Carolina town, inspiring countless others to see the value in taking a chance, no matter how skeptical they might be. Next, a $4 garage sale buy reveals a million-dollar secret behind an old painting. Let's see how. Michael Sparks' visit to a local garage sale in Nashville, Tennessee turned out to be more than just an ordinary day of bargain hunting. With a keen eye for unique finds, he stumbled upon an old painting priced at just $4. Intrigued by its vintage look but more interested in the frame than the artwork itself, Sparks decided to take it home. Little did he know this modest purchase was about to uncover a piece of American history and transform his financial future. After removing the painting from its frame, 
Sparks discovered something far more valuable hidden behind the canvas, a copy of the Declaration of Independence. Initially unsure of the document's authenticity and significance, he paid the minimal price of $2.48, thinking it was merely a reproduction of little value. However, curiosity got the better of him in the days that followed. Sparks embarked on a journey to uncover the truth about his find, eventually realizing he'd stumbled upon one of the 200 official copies of the Declaration of Independence commissioned by John Quincy Adams in 1820. Recognizing the potential value of his discovery, Sparks sought the expertise of auction house professionals who verified its authenticity. The excitement around this rare find was palpable, and when it finally went to auction, the document fetched a staggering $477,650. This incredible sum was a far cry from the humble $4 garage sale purchase and shows an extraordinary return on investment that most could only dream of. Now let's see how Philip Mazursky turned a spectacular catch at a sports event into a multi-million dollar victory. Philip Mazursky's life took an unexpected turn during a historic baseball match in 1998. It was a season that had sports fans everywhere on the edge of their seats. Mark McGuire of the St. Louis Cardinals and Sammy Sosa of the Chicago Cubs were in a head-to-head -head race to break the long-standing single-season home run record. The record, which had stood at 61 home runs for over three decades, was under threat by these two baseball giants. As McGuire stepped up to the plate, the anticipation in the air was palpable. Then it happened. McGuire hit his 70th home run, setting a new record that resonated through the world of baseball. In the stands that day was 26-year-old Philip Mazursky, an ordinary fan who had come to witness history. Little did he know, he would become part of this historic moment. The ball soared through the air and landed right where Mazursky was seated. In an instant, amidst the roaring crowd, he caught it. This wasn't just any baseball, it was a record-setting 70th home run ball hit by McGuire, instantly making it a piece of sports history. Recognizing the ball's value, Mazursky decided to sell it. The following year, the ball was put up for auction. The auction became a spectacle, attracting sports enthusiasts and collectors from around the globe. When the hammer finally fell, the ball had sold for a staggering $3 million. For a Mazursky, catching a baseball at a game had turned into a life-changing event. Overnight, he became a millionaire, all because he was in the right place at the right time. Philip Mazursky's catch was a once-in-a-lifetime event, but our next story involves a banking error that turned Lee's world upside down. In an incredible twist of fate, Christine Jashin Lee, a Sydney University student, found herself with what seemed like an endless stream of money thanks to a banking error that accidentally granted her an unlimited overdraft. This unexpected boon allowed Lee to embark on a spending spree that most could only dream of. Over four years, she indulged in a lavish lifestyle, purchasing high-end designer goods and luxury apartments, and enjoying the kind of life reserved for the pages of glossy magazines. It seemed as though fortune had smiled on Lee in the most modern of ways, transforming her into a millionaire overnight without a winning ticket or a discovered treasure, but through a digital glitch. However, as the adage goes, all that glitters is not gold. Lee's newfound wealth was built on shaky ground not meant to last. The reality of her situation came crashing down when the bank discovered the error. The financial institution demanded the return of the million spent, thrusting Lee into the center of a legal storm. This tale took a surprising turn when, even with the vast amounts involved, most of the money was successfully returned to the bank, and the charges against Lee were eventually dropped. This episode serves as a modern-day parable of what happens when the digital world we live in goes awry. Lee's story highlights the complexities and sometimes the absurdities of our financial systems, where a simple error can lead to a series of unimaginable events. Next, let's see how a $4 painting hides a fortune in history. 
In a story that sounds like it's straight out of a movie, a financial analyst stumbled upon a fortune most unexpectedly. It all started with a simple purchase at a flea market. The analyst was not looking for treasures or antiques, but was simply in the market for a picture frame. For just $4, he found what he thought was the perfect frame, complete with a painting that he deemed less valuable than the frame itself. However, upon getting the painting home and dismantling it to use the frame for another piece, he discovered something far more valuable hidden behind the canvas. To his astonishment, tucked away and out of sight was a rare copy of the Declaration of Independence. This was not just any old reprint one might find in a history book, but an original Dunlap broadside, one of the first official copies of the Declaration printed on the night of July 4, 1776. The find was nothing short of miraculous. The document, which had been hidden and presumably forgotten for years, was one of the most significant pieces of American history. Recognizing the importance and potential value of his find, the analyst took the document to experts who confirmed its authenticity and immense worth. The story of this accidental discovery took another turn when the declaration was put up for auction. Collectors and historians, aware of the document's historical significance and rarity, were eager to lay their hands on such a piece. The bidding was fierce, but ultimately the declaration sold for a staggering $2.4 million. Our next story is about finding treasure in your backyard. A California couple's dog finds a fortune in coins. In a tale as unexpected as it is enchanting, a California couple's routine walk with their dog transformed into a discovery that would alter the course of their lives. While traversing their property, nestled in the rolling hills of California, their canine companion stumbled upon something far more valuable than the usual sticks or stones. Buried beneath the earth lay a treasure trove of rare coins, a find that seemed ripped from the pages of a fairy tale. The couple, maintaining their anonymity in the wake of their find, unearthed cans filled with over 1,400 gold coins, dating back to the 19th century. This was not just any collection of old coins, these were pieces of history minted during a bygone era of American expansion and turmoil. The coins' condition was remarkably preserved, suggesting they had been buried and forgotten for decades, if not longer. With a sense of awe and an inkling of the significance of their find, the couple sought the expertise of numismatists to appraise their discovery. The verdict was staggering. The collection was valued at approximately $10 million. Each coin, a silent witness to history, now promised a new future for the couple. This story captures the essence of serendipity, showing how a simple act such as walking a dog can lead to life-altering events. It serves as a reminder of the mysteries that lie just beneath the surface, waiting to be uncovered by those who tread familiar paths. Next, Wei Leo Gao's banking blunder turns him into an overnight millionaire. Let's jump into that story. In a twist that sounds more like a plot from a thriller movie than real life, Wei Leo Gao, a small business owner from New Zealand, has suddenly found himself with an unexpected fortune. Due to a banking error, Gao's account was mistakenly credited with an overdraft limit of $10 million, far beyond the modest amount he had requested to keep his struggling gas station afloat. With what seemed like unlimited funds at his disposal, Gao made a decision that would change his life dramatically. Rather than reporting the error, he chose to embrace this turn of fate, withdrawing millions and embarking on a fugitive lifestyle across the globe. Alongside his then-partner, Gao left behind his life in New Zealand, diving into a world of luxury far removed from the financial struggles he had known. For a while, Gal lived out what many would consider a dream, indulging in the lavishness that sudden wealth could afford. From posh accommodations to high-end living, he experienced the kind of life that seemed unreachable mere moments before the bank's mistake. However, this dream was built on shaky ground. The reality of Gal's situation soon caught up with him. International authorities, alerted by the bank's discovery of the error, launched a global manhunt. Gao's days of luxury came to an abrupt end when he was captured in 2011, a stark reminder of the consequences of his choices. 
Gao's journey from a struggling business owner to an international fugitive, and finally to a captured man, highlights the complex relationship between morality, decision-making, and the allure of wealth. Next, Eric Martin's strategic contest entry transforms $18,000 into millions, proving calculated risks pay off. Eric Martin, a savvy investor from central Pennsylvania, took a gamble that would dramatically alter his financial future. In a bold move, Martin entered a contest hosted by Jet.com, an e-commerce startup looking to make its mark against giants like Amazon. The challenge was simple yet daunting – to get the most signups for the site. Seizing the opportunity, Martin invested 18 grand in online ads, a significant sum that demonstrated his commitment and belief in the potential of Jet.com. Martin's strategy was unconventional but calculated. He targeted areas where he believed people would be most receptive to signing up for a new shopping platform. This investment in ads was not just a shot in the dark, it was a calculated risk based on Martin's understanding of online marketing and consumer behavior. His efforts paid off spectacularly when he emerged as the contest winner, a victory that came with a substantial reward – 100,000 shares in Jet.com. This win alone was a significant achievement, but it was just the beginning of Martin's journey to fortune. In 2016, retail behemoth Walmart announced its acquisition of Jet.com for $3.3 billion, a move that shocked the e-commerce world and catapulted the value of Martin's shares. Overnight, his $18,000 investment transformed into shares worth between $10 and $20 million a return on investment that far exceeded even the wildest expectations. What's the future? Definitely definitely more in my business. I'm not sure yet with a lot of the money, but uh, Ideadash.com is, uh, is my new startup. Eric Martin turned a calculated gamble into millions. But our final story about Hadassah Paris bond with Ugat Clark changes her life, depicting wealth can come from unexpected connections. In a tale that blurs the lines between dedication and destiny, Hadassah Puri, a Filipino nurse, found herself in a life-changing relationship with her patient, Uget Clark, a reclusive heiress with a vast fortune and no close heirs. Puri was not just any nurse. Her unwavering commitment and genuine care for Clark over the years led to an extraordinary bond between the two, transcending the usual patient-caregiver dynamic. Ugat Clark, who lived her final years in seclusion, was a woman of immense wealth, the last surviving member of a Gilded Age copper magnate's family. Despite her reclusiveness, Clark's life was filled with luxury, evident in her multiple mansions and her collection of rare dolls, art, and antique jewelry. However, it was her relationship with Puri that stood out in her later years. Puri's role in Clark's life went beyond that of a nurse. She became a trusted companion and, ultimately, a beneficiary of Clark's vast estate. As Clark's health declined, the bond between the two women grew stronger. Recognizing Puri's loyalty and the genuine affection she had for her, Clark began bestowing gifts upon Puri, ranging from cash to valuable dolls and jewelry. These gifts, however, paled in comparison to what was to come after Clark's passing in 2011 at the age of 104. In her will, Clark left Puri more than just a token of her appreciation. The nurse was astonished to find herself the inheritor of over $30 million from Clark's estate, a gesture that underscored the depth of their relationship. Hadassah Puri's inheritance from Uget Clark is not just a tale of wealth gained but a narrative that highlights the unpredictable ways in which lives can intertwine, leading to fortunes beyond measure. These amazing stories remind us that luck can strike surprisingly, not just through hard work but sometimes by just being in the right spot. They encourage us to stay alert for chances, no matter how tiny or sudden, because your moment of luck might be just around the corner. Want to hear more incredible stories? Check out Pet Frog Predicts Lottery Numbers, Man Wins Mega Millions, and see how unexpected luck can pay off.